Uh, now it's the time, brothers and sisters, that uh, we've been waiting for our brother, uh, Dr. Hani Al Sayed by profession. Dr. Hani Al Sayed is a, a medical doctor. He works, he used to work in Leeds. I don't know whether he still does. Uh, recently he has returned from Egypt. Brother actually went there when uh, the spring actually uh, t took place and then uh, the government was formed and uh, he went there and he served his nation. He's seen the rise and then he, see, he has seen the assassination of the Islamic government in Egypt and he was part of the struggle uh, which was actually at Rabia. Uh, alhamdulillah, thumma alhamdulillah, he is amongst us today. Uh, my honor is to call him upon the stage and to talk to you brothers and sisters in light of what he has actually seen and what, how does he foresee the future of political Islam and strategical uh, uh, views of Dr. Zahid Pervez. He has actually mentioned the, the global situation and uh, we would like to listen uh, from uh, brother Dr. Hani Al Sayyid, how does he see uh, what goes on and how do we see the political future of Islamic movement in the region and what the fears they actually have and what kind of struggle they are actually uh, doing. It's, it is uh, nothing hidden from us and inshallah we listen and I would not be uh, too, too much in between you and Dr. Hanil Sayyid. Let me call him. Uh, let's brother do a big takbir inshallah. The brothers actually done a practical uh, struggle over there. Let's admire him with a big takbir inshallah. Takbir! Allah. Takbir! Allah. So I'm going to call brother Dr. Hanil Sayyid to talk to you. Assalamu alaikum. And then he... Uh, Alhamdulillah <laughs> وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. Dear respected brothers and sisters, جزاكم الله خيرا for this kind invitation. I was I was here last year and in the same place at the same time last year. And Allah سبحانه وتعالى knows the the amount of happiness I've got. Um, to come back uh, just after a few days um, to to meet um, and it, it's it's the honor, it's the pleasure, uh, it's the real happiness to have um, yourself um, among people which you feel are sharing you um, on aiding you on the way uh, to the path of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Um, I think um, the talk's theme is to tell you what's going on. I think that you all know what's going on. Um, what's going on in Egypt, as what's going on in other Muslim countries, is, is not new. It's something we have read, we have been taught in, in, in Islamic history. It's something that the Prophet وسلم, has gone through. Nothing is new. Nothing is new in, in the plot against Muslims and Islam. Something which will not stop if we think that one day 
we're going to yani, stay on our uh, chairs and feel that alhamdulillah this is the end we don't need to do any more work this is it Islam has dominated uh, and, and, and uh, uh, we can relax now uh, this, this day will not come the struggle between the truth and the falsehood will last um, until Yawm al um, But I think what we need now is a lot of Muslims around the world and this is the true bond of Islam. They have in their hearts a lot of pain, a lot of sorrow. And as expected, during the time I was in uh, Rabah, um, I was receiving calls from brothers from different parts of the world crying in sorrow to what they can see on the media. And, and this is Islam. This is Islam to have in your heart the pain that you have for your own brother of your blood, for your own family, for your son, when you see your brothers suffering what they are suffering. But with this feeling, we need to understand that yes, it is difficult. Yes, we are hurt, badly hurt. Yes, we are in sorrow. But if we cannot see the messages of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inside the calamity, the benefits of this calamity to us, then we're missing the main message. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always, always do good to his slaves. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and this is what we need to feel. What happened? What happened was what was happening 1400 years ago. There is someone representing a group called Dr. Morsi representing a group, a group of Muslims called the Muslim Brotherhood who um, was escalated into the highest authority in the country and he announced that I want to rule you people with Islam and my plans are to make this country clean to remove corruption and to make this country a strong country in a way to lead a Muslim Ummah. Full stop. Is that enough to plot against you? That's more than enough. That is more than enough. That is what your enemies need to hear from you to start action. And the action started over a year of, of ruling and the plot got stronger and stronger and different sects are very different ideologies they all united for one reason and the reason was to defeat this idea the anti-islamic idea will be in their minds in these sects as it was 1400 years ago what was the common ideology between the tribe of Quraysh and the tribe of Ghatafan and the Jews of Bani Quraytha when these three sects united against the Muslims in, in the battle of, of the trench, the Khandaq. What was common among them? Nothing in their ideologies. They had one common goal is that they want to defeat this Muslim message. This um, wish to rule in a clean, non-corrupted state is something which conflicts their interest. So we have to unite to defeat that and this unity is exactly what happened everyone united against you against us everyone and it didn't start on the 30th of June it started a long time before that and the assumption that we had 
that when people are offered a clean, non-corrupted option of living in this country, they will automatically accept it, is incorrect. Because this, this country has been living in a deep state of corruption for the last 60 years. The same people, the same groups, the same organizations, the military service, the police, the media. And assuming that they will become automatically good people by you just coming as a ruler is not right. It will not happen. Uh, now it's the time, brothers and sisters, that uh, we've been waiting for our brother, uh, uh, Dr. Hani Al Sayed, by profession. Dr. Hani Al Sayed is a, a medical doctor. He works, he used to work in Leeds. I don't know whether he still does. Uh, recently, he has returned from Egypt. Brother actually went there when uh, a spring actually uh, t took place and then uh, the government was formed and uh, he went there and he served his nation. He's seen the rise and then he, see, he has seen the assassination in light of what he has actually seen and what, how does he foresee the future of political Islam and strategical uh, uh, views of Dr. Zahid Pervez. He has actually mentioned the, the global situation and uh, we would like to list of the Islamic government in Egypt and he was part of the struggle uh, which was actually at Rabia. Uh, alhamdulillah, thumma alhamdulillah, he is amongst us today. Uh, my honor is to call him upon the stage and to talk to you, brothers and sisters, uh, from uh, Brother Dr. Hani Al Sayyid. How does he see uh, what goes on and how do we see the political future of Islamic movement? in the region and what the fears they actually have and what kind of struggle they are actually uh, doing.